angry. Like I still went home feeling empty because yeah. that group never did anything to me. So that for me, it fueled anger. It fueled rage. It fueled a lot of other negative things. And then that attitude, like my attitude was nasty. Well, I never had a, a nasty attitude. No, mine was nasty. Well, pro well I went, when I got older, that's when my attitude got yeah. a little, not, 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 matter of fact, not only nasty, but I was aggressive. And I believe it was because, like, back then, <laughs> I almost said they didn't want me, but it's true, back then, they <laughs> really didn't want to rock with me. Yeah, like, everybody's And, like, like when I grew up and began to strike out on my career, like, Everybody wanted to be down. Everybody wanted the peace, or, or, or wanted to be like in the circle. Then, so if I felt like you wanted to be in the circle, I felt like okay. So then, so you, now you you, you 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 gonna earn to be in this. So, circle. but basically, you ended up going from trying to fit in circles to where now you created a circle and people wanted to be in. I See, created I, yeah. an environment. Like, listen, yeah. Now I, I'm not going to you. Come to me now. Oh, see, and that was, and I think, but I, I mean, but to you, you had siblings. I was an only child, so I did put like I pushed people away when I didn't want to be around anybody or didn't want to be in a circle. Well, I, I did could, things. Man. I did things. Sometimes deliberately. I'll be honest. Sometimes I did things deliberately um, to push people away, so I wouldn't have to fit in a circle because at at a certain point in high school, I just got tired of trying to fit in because no matter what yeah, I did it, people looking didn't, back it was definitely draining yeah I mean and then like <laughs> but then it became one of those things where I even but I think for me it started even in middle school I remember being um in a situation where uh I think that was when my mom was going through her divorce and I remember feeling like nobody Nobody loved me, and I remember saying that like repeatedly, like that was what was embedded in my in my head, and that was fifth grade. So what grade. you said about the divorce is what I said about people not liking me. So it was kind of <laughs> like, you know, what do I do? But then the flip side of that is, um, the older that I got, some of the relationships that I I had with people, um, or friendships I had with people, I then learned to cherish them. But then it was still like, a, uh, I just don't trust you because I just don't think that you are super loyal. But then I had to flip that on my side. Am I being loyal? And so it wasn't until what, maybe mm, this is, we've been doing this for eight years, maybe like six, five, six years ago. Yeah, like five, six years ago, like I really didn't understood what it meant. No, seven, because Araya is seven. I really then understood almost eight years ago I really understood what it meant to have somebody loyal what it meant to have somebody in your corner and then how that actually impacts you do you think you fully understand it now or do you think you're getting the gist of it um I think now I I have the gist of it to know exactly like to have a handle on it mm. so like um Still learning the ins and out of people because uh, trust has always been an issue for me. So having somebody that um, is around me that I can feel, I mean, having someone that I can trust that is not going to be judgmental. And then also understanding that everybody that um, you are surrounded by cannot handle what you have to share or what you have gone through because they just don't understand that point. So and I think that goes back with... Um expectations yeah like I think for me coming up and sometimes sometimes you gotta do like a flashback on your life like I do I do flashback on my life to see number one thankful for where I'm at mm -hmm. and to see different era of my ways like how did I how did I end up with this person mm -hmm. or how did I end up in these with these group of people and where was my mind at to actually yeah. be with this group of people. Right. Yeah. And it, it sums it up as this as as a person I, I believe when you hurt you look for a hurt crowd. Mm -hmm. When you whatever your symptom what, is yeah. like you you are attracted to that that that's why a lot of times even in relationships, mm -hmm. we are attracted to bro broken people. Like, if you're right. broken, you're like, okay, you're, uh, uh, 
we got so many. I mean, you're not gonna say, are you broken? You're broken. Bro- yeah. Let's be together. Let's yeah. be broke together. Do you have five bags? Because I got like that? five. And we can you have two. Like, like, but you you try to find common ground yeah. as far as different other stuff. So I think for me, when I think of iron sharper. Iron sharpened mm-hmm. iron. Like I don't think we think about the negativity of it. Mm-hmm. Like somebody can sharpen you to become a great person, mm-hmm. but then somebody can also Sharp. sharpen you yep. to become horrible. <laughs> Not that, so great. Cause, Cause for me, that's true. Horrible. Yeah. Cause for me, people sharpen me to become a real bad person. I had family yeah. members like, listen, only good chick is a new chick. <laughs> what have we? Y'all do not do that. that is but, not. but that was right. me being sharpened the wrong way. Right. I was sharp, but it was truly the wrong way. But in my heart, I always wanted to be in a, uh, a, a, a full-time committed relationship for the most part. I was always Mr. Lover Boy. You know, can't go nowhere because, you know, you, you're in a relationship. But it goes to show, like I always tell people, if you show me who you hang around, I can mm-hmm. tell you your future. And and over the years, I'm talking over the years when I look back and I evaluate my 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 circle and I evaluate those people I was around, e- even my uh relationships I was in. Mm-hmm. And I always say to myself like did it did it benefit me any? It definitely benefited me cuz 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 I learned from them. Mm-hmm. I was the person that, like, when I look back now, I'm like, ugh. Even though I was in that relationship, and I'm not in that relationship now, this it doesn't necessarily have to be girlfriend, boyfriend type of yeah. stuff. But I'm just talking about relationship. Mm-hmm. A lot of us need to go back and just reevaluate. Right. Number one, where where was your mind at when you were in this relationship? Right. And then evaluate the relationship that you're in now mm-hmm. and think okay am i repeating the same pattern. the same thing